How's it going, everyone? This week, I went to a conference. First in-person conference that I've been to in a very, very long time. Now, this conference was all about smart home connections, how the networking and stuff works with home automations and everything like that. It was uh, in Frisco, Texas, near Dallas. It was a very beautiful place right next to where the Cowboys do their practicing, I believe. There was a big Ford place there. I don't know. I'm not sponsored by Ford, so I don't want to talk about them. But it was a it was a conference called Connections by Parks Associates. It was put on. It was it was great. Um, lots of research that they do that they were kind of showcasing, um, and we, you know we were able to to learn a lot from that. Um, I was the only one that went from Nabu Casa, as I live in Austin, Texas. It was a really easy three hour drive to get there. There were a few players there, something like Comcast, Netgear, Slodge, Lutron, just to name a few. But overall, there there were pretty good names there um, to talk to. And so we went to, or I went to uh, do some networking, but I also learned a lot about the, the sessions that were there. And one of the biggest things that I learned was that we're, we're really moving on from being a smart product and having smart products, like a, like a smart light bulb into moving to connected devices. Instead of saying, Oh, I have a smart bulb. I have a, I have a connected bulb because it connects to the internet or it connects to your hub. Now, this is all to say that we're not going away from the smart home, but it, it, it's more to say that just being able to connect to it and go to your phone and turn it on and off doesn't, doesn't really make it smart. And we, we've kind of known this for quite a while. We know that smart home really requires that you do some automation with it. And it seems that everyone else is trying to catch up to that. The definition of smart home is changing, though. And it's not just that it runs automatically at 3 p.m. every single day or the lights come on, you know, at a, at a certain time every single day. You know, that's that's automated to do what you want. But is it smart automation? Because the home could go a little bit further and, and really react to what's happening on a daily basis and be more, you know, smart, meaning we think of things that are happening outside of our lives and we think, oh, this could fix this or or changing this light or running the water or turning off certain features of your home could make this situation better. And the smart home could do the same. So the goal is for the smart home really to be as smart as possible, to automate your life without you having to physically and manually go ahead and do it. That's, I think, where you know smart technology is going to run into AI and, and machine learning. And you know, there was something in Home Assistant, it was like some data science stuff that was talked about a few years ago, but nothing really came of it. I'm wondering if maybe maybe we should do something about it. it it's really hard because, you know, machine learning and, and AI really has to think about, oh, there was water detected. You know, oh, I need to shut off my water valve. Well, what if you have a water detector near your washing machine, but it's also near your dog bowl, right? It has to detect how much you know, what time of day, what, what normally happens at this time frame. It, it just can't shut off the valve because your dog dropped its water bowl on it and then you're in the shower taking a shower and you have no more water. So it has to be smart. It has to know exactly what's going on around your house. So the more sensors, the more data it can collect, the better it goes about that. The next generation of a smart home is not really going in the right direction, in my opinion, from these companies and what they're saying. They're really all putting everything in the cloud and doing everything with your data in the cloud. And, and you know, yes, they're putting together privacy things that are like, oh, well, we only do that if this search situation or you when you allow us. But in reality, why do they need to do it at all? Why do they need to put your camera that's, you know, taking your house and, and putting it in the cloud? It, it shouldn't need that. If really, all it really needs is Maybe events, you know, what happened? Oh, there was motion detected. So it can, you know, maybe run a notification through the cloud, but it doesn't really need that live stream. I learned a few things too. Home Depot has a new hub. Of course, why not? Um, one thing Home Depot said that I, that I also agree with is most consumers, they're not really educated on, on the different protocols. So if you have to say Z-Wave, Zigbee, Matter, whatever, you already kind of lost them. They're already gone. They don't want to do it. It's too hard. So we have to think about that going forward and, and depending on, you know, what type of user we're really aiming for, you know, what is that, what, you know, what are we talking about? Is it matter really different than Z-Wave when it comes to just being a smart home? And for most other companies, no, but for us, I think, you know, for home assistant, I think, yes, you know, we're, 
for everything. So while yes and no, I think that really you just need to be able to have a home assistant hub that can connect, right? To anything. That would be great. I'm also finding that home assistant already solves like 95% of problems that everyone's having. A big buzzword this weekend was interoperability. And that was where, you know, interoperability means data and devices can talk to each other, meaning, you know, a slage can talk to a Home Depot uh, product. And really, that's not what they wanted. They just wanted their platform to be able to talk to different devices from different companies, but they didn't want their platform and their products to talk to different companies, right? So interoperability isn't just a one-way street and these companies don't really seem to understand that. So that's something that I think is going to have to change or Home Assistant and other platforms like this are really going to be the only way to really get interoperability. The single platform for all devices is really the next stage. I mean, once you outgrow just being able to be inside of one single platform like Home Depot and you want to grow your automations, you really have to go to something like Home Assistant in order to get that. Other companies are are not really going to be to that point for quite a while or really ever. There was a lot of matter discussion. Some companies like Home Depot don't really care. You know, they're like, if it's Z-Wave, it's Z-Wave. It's matter, it's matter. I don't care. The consumer doesn't care. So it, why does it matter? Eh. Um, other companies are, are, you know, really excited for it. Even the Z-Wave Alliance is pretty excited for it, um, which was kind of cool to see. But overall, I think that Home Assistant is where we need to go. And, you know, we have people who want to do that already, where they want to have different devices going from different companies and they can't and they're getting stuck into only buying Philips Hue or only buying Home Depot or only buying Schlage products. And even Alarm.com was there talking about how they're going to talk to these different companies and get them all together. But then Alarm.com, they didn't talk about how they were going to be able to give out their information and their data, you know, locally or through the cloud. Um, and so if everyone is building a platform, then no one's building a platform. Everyone's building their own consolidated siloed platform. So why does it really matter? Uh, I, I just think that, you know, everything needs to lead to one single hub that is able to talk to everything. And right now that's Home Assistant for me and there's other products very similar to it, but something's going to win. And I don't think it's these platforms that are very siloed. But that's kind of the, the conference. It was great. It was three days. Um, you know, I got to talk to a lot of people um, and got to talk about the Home Assistant Yellow a lot. So, you know, I brought one with me to kind of show off to a lot of people and um, everyone seemed to really like it. You know, some people asked a lot of questions. Some people were very curious and you know, I was able to kind of, uh, you know, talk our way through the Home Assistant Yellow and why it's going to be the the next best hub for Home Assistant. But all right, that was my experience. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day.